Hi, it's Ryan Lestrange with the Monday Word, and my Monday Word is never returning to old bondages. This is really a prophetic alert. I want to open your eyes to one of the strategies of hell. I was visited over the night season with a series of prophetic dreams. I'm going to be sharing more about these dreams and the warning of the Lord on my various platforms, but I want to give you some tidbits here because in one of the dreams I had, the Lord began to reveal to me the onslaught, the attacks of old bondages rising in the lives of people, old strategies being released and hurled at people in, in what seems like a fresh way. And I believe there's a real trap of the enemy right now that is being sent out in this season of time to try to discourage, to try to overwhelm, and to try to distract. And the Lord said to me to tell his people, you've got to stay alert in the spirit. The enemy wants to mute uh, your hearing and dim your vision. But the Lord said to call you to prayer. I'm putting out a prayer alert to say, we need to rise up in prayer and pray for the body of Christ and break the power of hell, to break the power of accusation, intimidation, and witchcraft. We need to expose the lies, the activities, the old bondages that are trying to arise. Uh, I saw in one of the dreams I have the spirit of intimidation and accusation and witchcraft. It was using old wounds. You see, many of you got healed from things and the enemy's trying to reignite an old wound. Well, I just say in the name of Jesus that your spirit eyes are open and that old wound is not going to be reopened because the blood of Jesus covers you and he whom the Son has set free, past tense, is free indeed. You are free then and you're free now. I saw the enemy trying to resurrect uh, old strategies but to come at them in a fresh way. I, I, I was uh, in this dream. Uh, I began to see the enemy throwing mud at people. They were trying to advance. They were trying to move forward and they had mud on their clothes. And mud, one of the representations of mud is accusation. The enemy is trying to accuse people and shred their identity. He's trying to distract people and get them away from their identity. And this spirit was persistent in my dream. It kept pounding and pounding. It was mocking. It was releasing confusion. The more this thing talked, the more mistakes that were made in this dream that I had. It's like uh, the clarity of thought was eradicated and, and people were operating in a fog. Uh, and also in this dream, there was a section that I was waiting for a ride to my next assignment to preach and the ride was delayed. And the, the Lord spoke to me and said, this witchcraft, this confusion, this spirit tries to delay and abort assignments. Many people right now are under a barrage of accusation. They're under a barrage of intimidation. And this thing is trying to delay and abort assignments. And I just say in the authority of Jesus, saying that your eyes are going to be open, that you're going to recognize it. Many of you have faced temptations, things that you knew you were delivered out of suddenly has, has risen again. Some wounds that you knew God healed you from, suddenly they the enemies uh, tried to resurrect those again. I really saw old things being brought about demonically in a fresh way. And the enemy is trying to twist some old wounds, some old bondages, some old portals and reopen them. And this is what the Lord told me. He said, call the intercessors to pray. Call the people of God to pray. The body of Christ is in a time and a season that the enemy is trying to release confusion, intimidation, accusation. Now, understand this. I know the enemy is always trying trying to do these things, okay? The Bible said there's nothing new under the sun. But I really had an urgency through this series of dreams uh, that, that this enemy was on the uh, on the advance right now in this season and trying to shred people's identity. And the Lord gave me a couple of scriptures I want to share with you. Ephesians 6, 18. It said, with all prayer and all petition, pray at all times in the spirit. With this in view, be on alert with all perseverance and petition for all the saints. So we need to be on alert in the spirit. One of the traps of the enemy is to get us not to recognize what's happening. And this is why heaven uses prophetic declaration, dreams, visions, revelation. It's to alert people. And this is what I felt in my spirit, to put out this prophetic alert. I'm going to do it on my other platforms as well. But to say that we need to rise up and we need to bind up the spirit of witchcraft in this season, bind up accusation. We need to be in tune and recognize in our own private and personal lives. Maybe you got delivered from rejection and all of a sudden it's trying to rise again. Maybe you got delivered out of lust and all of a sudden it's trying to rise again. This is what I saw. The enemy trying to resurrect old bondages, 
old strategies, old things that God already brought you out of, and you need to be alert in the spirit. In Nahum 1 9, it says, Whatever you devise against the Lord, he will make a complete end of it. Distress, or one translation says affliction, will not rise up twice. And this is a key scripture, a strategic scripture, that we need to prophesy and declare that this affliction, this distress, this bondage has no permission to rise again in our lives. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for my friends. Lord, I call the intercessors. I call the body of Christ. I call the people of God to begin to pray, to rise up in prayer, and to begin to discern these attacks and turn them by the authority of Jesus' name. You said we've been translated in Colossians from the power of darkness to the power of light. Therefore, darkness has no authority, no permission, no privilege, and no right in our life. And I bind old accusations. I bind old attacks. I bind the spirit of confusion. I bind the spirit of intimidation. I bind the spirit of witchcraft. And I claim freedom in Jesus' name.